What happened to the twelve disciples of Jesus? The twelve disciples of Jesus were the men who followed him during his earthly ministry and witnessed his miracles, teachings, death and resurrection. They were also commissioned by him to spread the gospel to all nations and make disciples of all people. But what happened to them after Jesus ascended to heaven? How did they fulfill their mission and what challenges did they face? In this article, we will explore the historical and traditional accounts of the fate of the twelve disciples of Jesus. Simon Peter Simon Peter was the leader of the twelve disciples and the most prominent spokesman among them. He was a fisherman from Galilee who was called by Jesus to follow him. He was also given the name Peter, which means rock by Jesus, who said that he would build his church on this rock. Peter was part of the inner circle of Jesus, along with James and John, and witnessed many of his special revelations, such as the transfiguration and the agony in the garden. He also confessed that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God, but later denied him three times before his crucifixion. After Jesus rose from the dead, he restored Peter and entrusted him with the care of his sheep. Peter became a bold preacher and leader of the early church, especially among the Jewish Christians. He also wrote two epistles that are part of the New Testament. According to tradition, Peter traveled to Rome and became the first bishop of the Roman Church. He was martyred during the persecution of Nero. Around 64 AD, he was crucified upside down at his own request because he felt unworthy to die in the same way as his Lord. Andrew Andrew was the brother of Peter and also a fisherman from Galilee. He was a disciple of John the Baptist before he followed Jesus. He was the first to recognize Jesus as the Messiah and brought his brother to him. He was also instrumental in introducing other people to Jesus, such as the boy with the five loaves and two fish, and the Greeks who wanted to see him. Andrew was not part of the inner circle of Jesus, but he was present at some important events, such as the feeding of the 5,000 and the Olivet Discourse. After the ascension of Jesus, Andrew preached the gospel in various regions, such as Asia Minor, Scythia, and Greece. He was martyred in Patras, Greece, around 60 AD. He was crucified on an X-shaped cross, which is now known as the St. Andrew's Cross. James, son of Zebedee. James, son of Zebedee, was the brother of John and also a fisherman from Galilee. He was called by Jesus along with his brother and left their father and boat to follow him. He was part of the inner circle of Jesus and witnessed his transfiguration and his agony in the garden. He was also known as James the Greater to distinguish him from the other disciple named James. He was a man of zeal and ambition who once asked Jesus for a seat of honor in his kingdom and who wanted to call down fire from heaven on a Samaritan village that rejected Jesus. He was the first of the twelve disciples to be martyred for his faith. He was killed by the sword by King Herod Agrippa the Ferns around 44 AD, as recorded in Acts 12, 1-2. According to some traditions, he preached the gospel in Spain before his death, and his relics are now enshrined in the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. John John was the brother of James and also a fisherman from Galilee. He was called by Jesus along with his brother and left their father and boat to follow him. He was part of the inner circle of Jesus and witnessed his transfiguration and his agony in the garden. He was also known as the beloved disciple who leaned on Jesus' chest at the Last Supper and who stood by his cross. He was the only one of the twelve disciples who did not die a martyr's death, although he faced persecution and exile. He wrote the fourth gospel, three epistles, and the book of Revelation, which he received in a vision while he was banished to the island of Patmos. He was the leader of the church in Ephesus and died there of old age around the end of the first century. Philip Philip was from Bethsaida, the same town as Peter and Andrew. He was one of the first disciples to follow Jesus, who personally called him. He was also the one who brought Nathaniel, or Bartholomew, to Jesus. He was a man of practical and logical mind, who once asked Jesus to show him the Father, and who wondered how to feed the crowd of five thousand. He was also a man of mission, who preached the gospel to the Ethiopian eunuch, as recorded in Acts 8, 26 40. According to tradition, Philip also preached the gospel in Phrygia, in Asia Minor, and was martyred there by crucifixion or stoning, around 80 AD, 
Bartholomew, or Nathaniel, was from Cana in Galilee. He was brought to Jesus by Philip, who told him that they had found the Messiah. He was initially skeptical and asked, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? But when he met Jesus, he was amazed by his knowledge and insight, and confessed, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. He was a man of honesty and integrity, whom Jesus called a true Israelite, in whom there is no deceit. He was also a man of faith and vision, who was promised by Jesus to see greater things, such as the angels ascending and descending on the Son of Man. According to tradition, Bartholomew preached the gospel in India, Armenia, Ethiopia, and other places. He was martyred by being flayed alive, beheaded, or crucified around the 1st or 2nd century. Thomas Thomas was also known as Didymus, which means twin. He was a man of courage and loyalty, who once said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. When Jesus decided to go to Bethany, near Jerusalem, where Lazarus had died, he was also a man of doubt and despair, who said, We do not know where you are going, how can we know the way? When Jesus told them that he was going to prepare a place for them, he also refused to believe that Jesus had risen from the dead, unless he saw and touched his wounds. He was also a man of confession and worship, who said, My Lord and my God, when he saw the risen Jesus, and who was blessed by him for his faith. According to tradition, Thomas preached the gospel in Persia, Parthia, and India, where he was martyred by being speared, stoned, or Thaddeus, Jude. Thaddeus, also known as Jude or Judas, son of Alphaeus, was the brother of James, son of Alphaeus, and possibly a cousin of Jesus. He is not to be confused with Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. He was one of the twelve disciples chosen by Jesus, but not much is recorded about him in the New Testament. He asked Jesus why he would reveal himself only to his disciples and not to the world, John 14, 22. He wrote the epistle of Jude, which warns against false teachers and apostasy. He preached the gospel in Mesopotamia, Syria, and Persia. He was martyred by being clubbed, axed, or shot with arrows, according to different traditions. Simon the Zealot Simon the Zealot, also known as Simon the Cananean, was one of the twelve disciples chosen by Jesus. He was called the Zealot because he belonged to a radical Jewish sect that was zealous for the law and opposed the Roman occupation. He may have been a former terrorist or a freedom fighter before he met Jesus. He preached the gospel in Egypt, Africa, Britain, and Persia. He was martyred by being sawn in half, crucified, or chopped by an axe, according to different traditions. Judas Iscariot Judas Iscariot was the most notorious of the twelve disciples. He was the treasurer of the group and often stole money from the common purse. He was also the one who betrayed Jesus to the Jewish authorities for thirty pieces of silver. He led a band of soldiers to arrest Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane and identified him with a kiss. After he realized his sin, he tried to return the money and hanged himself in despair. He was replaced by Matthias as one of the Twelve Apostles.